unwanted foam happens in an endless variety of products and industries. And it can happen just about anywhere from manufacturing, processing, and packaging, to distribution and end use. No matter where it occurs, foam can cause big problems for you and for your customers. It can limit your formulation options, wreak havoc with product quality and performance, reduce manufacturing capacity, cause overflows and spills, and raise environmental concerns. That's why it's so important to take control of unwanted foam whenever and wherever you find it. A job made easier and less costly with silicone antifoams from Dow. Although we call them antifoams, they are used in two ways to help control foam in your system. When used as antifoams, they help prevent foam from developing. When used as defoamers, they help destroy or knock down foam after it has occurred. Knockdown refers to the reduction in foam height that occurs when the antifoam is added. Speed of knockdown is also important. So is persistency, the length of time the antifoam continues to perform. Different foaming situations require different degrees of knockdown, speed of knockdown, and persistency. Let's take a look at how silicone antifoams work. Silicone has low surface and interfacial tensions. This enables it to flow easily over the foam wall. It seeks out openings and occupies them causing the wall to thin and collapse. Silicone antifoams perform so well that in a head-to-head -head battle with organic antifoams, silicones almost always win. Here's why. Silicones have much lower surface tensions, which means they tend to spread through the foam more quickly. They remain stable over a wide range of temperatures and pH levels. They also tend to be less reactive than organics, leading to fewer compatibility problems. Silicone antifoams also tend to be more persistent, longer lasting than organic antifoams. And if that isn't enough, they are effective at much lower dosages, which adds up to lower cost in use. Silicone antifoams from Dow come in a variety of product forms to meet the needs of a wide range of systems and applications. Silicone fluids are designed for use in non-aqueous systems. They are inert, are not conducive to bacterial growth, and are available in a wide range of viscosities. Silicone compounds are silicone fluids that contain a suspension of finely powdered silica to enhance their defoaming efficiency. They also are designed primarily for non-aqueous systems. Silicone antifoam emulsions are ideal for controlling foam in aqueous systems. Silicone dispersions, silicone fluids dispersed in aliphatic solvents, are used primarily in oil and gas applications. And powdered silicone antifoam compounds are often used in dry products to help prevent foaming when liquids are added. Our silicone antifoams have proven their performance for decades in a host of industries and applications. Let's take a closer look at some of our products and the benefits they bring to a couple of key industries, starting with food and beverage. The antifoams we offer for food and beverage applications are compliant with relevant regulations and dietary laws. Proven safe and effective when properly used, these antifoams are designed to help you control problem foam in all stages of food production, processing, packaging, and end use. They often outperform non-silicones in their ability to help lower use levels, increase productivity, reduce production costs, and save money. Dow has a robust portfolio of products for food and beverage applications, including a range of silicone emulsions for use in aqueous systems, a powdered antifoam that can be used in aqueous systems or in powdered products to help prevent foam from developing when water is added, plus silicone fluids and compounds for use in non-aqueous systems. Our antifoams for pulp and paper processing are designed specifically for use in sulfite and brown stock washing. These products are superior to oil-based antifoams in terms of their low usage levels, improved washing efficiency and drainage for cleaner pulp, reduced need for bleaching chemicals, and improved knockdown and persistency. Ziameter ACP 3073 antifoam compound is an excellent example. It delivers optimal knockdown and persistency in custom formulations 
and features our latest technology for enhanced drainage. Silicone antifoams from Dow have demonstrated their effectiveness in many, many industrial applications, including oil and gas, textiles, wastewater treatment, metalworking fluids, paints, inks, and coatings, and agriculture. Featured products for these applications include Xiameter AFE 1410 antifoam emulsion, an extremely versatile industrial antifoam that performs effectively in aqueous systems that range from highly acidic to highly alkaline, and Xiameter AFE 1430 antifoam emulsion, a highly concentrated antifoam with excellent long-term antifoam performance in aqueous systems. With proven products, expert technical support, and antifoam testing and product optimization services, Dow can help you find the ideal solution for your foaming problems. For literature, samples, technical assistance, and an antifoam concentration calculator, visit consumer.dow.com.